Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, coming back with another reaction to the long-lost TV show Star Wars Droids from 1984. This is simultaneously like a crazy nostalgia trip and a really refreshing look at what Star Wars storytelling looks like when it's not constrained by all of this pre-existing canon. None of that existed back then. Anyway, this one is episode two. It's called Escape Into Terror. That doesn't sound good. Kind of a out of the frying pan into the flames situation. Anyway, let's check it out. Do it! Three... Two, one. Escape into terror. Nice. I like that ship. Repairs, repairs, repairs. No, I oh man, he's really straddling that thing. I do dislike space travel, Artu. This should do it. I wish R2 and 3PO would stop clowning around out there. R2-D2, be careful. If you float away, I'll have to try and save you. Me? Don't worry about me floating off. I've seen to it that I am properly secured. You're floating away right now, dude. Oh, the hyperdrive is floating away. I'm floating away. R2, do something. Save me. Useless. I should know better than to ask two mechanical maniacs to try and fix a little malfunction. Easy, Kia. R2 and 3PO will find a problem. <laughs> I didn't mean the droids, George. Ooh. Man, Anthony Daniels really earned his paycheck in this episode. Ooh. Oh, come on. Good idea, Artu. Turn the container's gravity amplifier all the way up. Oh, my servo discs. Well, I Creative solution. Now, and most likely, I'll never be able to stand up straight again either. As R2-D2 so readily put it, sir, I am the one to blame for allowing the hyperdrive unit to get away from me. Don't worry, 3PO. We can pick up a You're back on ride. board. Just put down the thing I'm now. Sure my mother would put us up for a few days. Are you sure you're all right, 3PO? Oh, it's just a trick servo disc in my back, sir. It will write itself. You know, that happened to me once when I slept on the couch. See? Perfectly fine. R2, set a course for Annie. It's like a cross between the Hammerhead Corvette and like a Klingon Bird of Prey almost with those back engines. Or like the Bounty Hunter ship from the Old Republic. This is cool. Where's this? Hail Cy Strong, ruthless gangmaster of Anu. Just done. It's on the phone. Hi, Pop. Still mad at me? Tig, you know me better than that. Was I angry when your protector droids turned on me and handed me over to the authorities? I'm gonna say yes. It was a little malfunction, you, you was see. Was I angry when you broke someone else out of the prison station and left me there? Mistakes Probably yes. Happened, father. Twice. Well, what happened the second time uh, was... Now, because of your bungling, the other gangs may find out about our secret base. These guys look like they're straight out of He-Man, don't they? Like Masters of the Universe? Destroy me. Because I'll beat them to you, that's why. Relax, Pop. This is some sweet You're music. You're 900 years old. It's not good for you. My spies tell me the two who infiltrated our secret base are here on Anu with a girl and two droids. Keep them quiet, Father, and we'll secure our future as the most powerful gang in the stars. Now it's up to me to deal with them. One more slip up, Tig. And I'll actually be angry. Who knows what to do? <laughs> I'll find those two young meddlers myself. The girl. I wonder if that's like a giant Lights. rack of tip yip that they're eating. All visitors to Anu must register with space board officials. It's taking longer to register than it took to fly here. I really yeah, well, that's not far off line? from the truth these days. Did you see that, Artu? He butted in ahead of us. 
How rude! Eat you, duck! Oh, fuck! He just turned around and fired! Damn! <laughs> like, they basically just look like orcs to me. Which is not a bad thing. Orcs in Star Wars? Hell yeah. That's how it felt about the... The, the invaders in that episode of The Mandalorian, of the ATST, on Sorgan. No! Archer's going crazy! What's gotten into R2? I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Come on, let's ditch the uh, welcoming committee. Don't try to stop him. This logic has completely broken down. Save yourselves out of the way! Save yourselves! It's not going to work, though. Oh, nice. Hey, there they go. So long. Yeah, but what if they have a vehicle? Then maybe they'll follow. Well, I guess it did work. Gar, take care of this speeder. Mother won't be back for a while. You guys should get some rest. 3PO, R2, see if you can help out with the chores. <laughs> This is the lowest form of duty. Vacuum and sand sloths. Why, I'd rather be feeding tontons on half. Nice, nice sloth. Mm. I do hope those creatures aren't afraid of vacuum machines. Well, definitely uh, related to Banthas, you know. Oh. Never mind about the door. Arthur. Secret tunnel. Secret oh, no. tunnel oh, through the mountain. Oh, we got blasters and helmets and hmm, it does look like secret a resistance. Rebel base. Yeah. Mistress Kier never told us she was part of the Rebel Alliance. Well, that's the point, 3PO. You idiot. Oh, cool. Like an infiltrator droid. This reminds me a lot of the Rebels arc. Where AP5 is the only one that knows that the scavenged droid is actually an infiltrator. Oh no! Waking up to getting gassed. Yeah, he really looks like him, doesn't he? He was based on a Macquarie design, so. <laughs> oh shit! Good job, girl. Doll. Doll, are you okay? Oh, I think so. <laughs> that droid is about Someone to tear him in half. What's going on? <laughs> Dick Fromm is building a powerful weapon satellite at his secret base called the Trigon One. You really mean Tig Fromm is building a weapon satellite the Trigon One? On We're the only two that know its location. Size from gang. Just gotta help him vape real quick. Regain his. So that's why I was attacked. His humors. The welcoming committee at the spaceport. But how do you know all this? Mother sent me to find the location of Tig's base. What? You? Why? So that she can return and destroy it. Exactly. Because she's the badass. She's the one that killed the droid, after all. Size from to stop you from interfering with the launching of their secret weapon. Our only hope is to destroy the Trigon One before it leaves for Size Fromm's base. Sure. It's up to us. Us. Everyone in this star system is a possible victim. Freedom is everybody's fight. Oh, she's right. But we need a plan to destroy the. Are they going to trick 3PO out using those droid parts and make him look like an evil robot? Because that would be amazing. About that satellite. You see, R2, it's like I always say. Freedom is everybody's fight, so I'm preparing to strike my blow for the cause. How? Oh, by utilizing my knowledge of Granic Nares, the ancient art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'll demonstrate. Charge it, Please do. Come on, and don't stop. Hey! Freedom is everybody's fight! Oh! Art, I sell the disc is stuck. Stop her! <laughs> Uh, oh my. That's a yoga position that I haven't heard of. 
Just get me out of this embarrassing position. <laughs> and he's getting licked in the head. Typical. George, where are they going? As I understand it, sir, Size From is going to his secret base on Ingo. They plan to sneak aboard his ship for a free ride to the Trigon. They haven't got a chance. Come on. Why would they leave him behind? She, they just made a speech about everyone being involved in this. Inside size from ship. That should take us to take secret base. 3PO, look down there. We've got to find Jordan Kia. Let's go see Mr. Frog. No, that didn't last I long. I told you I'd get us on his ship. <laughs> oh dear. Huh? Hey, go! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Non fatal. <laughs> For a second, I thought they just like straight up crushed him. Hurry up! Master Thol, those containers are very confining. I suggest you take these breather units. You'll be more comfortable. Good idea. Thanks, guys. Prepio, hang on to this and don't shake it. It's magnetic. She just sticks it to him. Cool. I'm sorry we're taking so long to load this cargo, sir. I know Master Prom has given you orders. Orders? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. Come on, you clones. I mean, clowns. <laughs> You're as slow as sand sloths. You want me to tie your circuits into knots, droid? Oh, no, sir. That won't be necessary. Then move your bolts. Uh, yes, sir. Come on, Otto. We hate droids. Couldn't have noticed. I'll stay here and help Kia's mother. Take good care of the cargo, 3PO. We saw that ship in the establishing yes, shot. It, it's reminiscent of like the uh, first order dropship kind of the way it has that concave front. My goodness, it's Tick Frog. Oh, it's the end, R2. He'll recognize us. My stars. It's got to be hard to recognize a droid on sight because, you know, 3PO is not a very distinctive protocol droid. There are other gold ones out there. Quick, R2, look busy. BB-8 was, was one of a kind, because, on only because of his colors, though. You and your droids, my men, will find them two males, a girl, and two droids. The Trigon One is almost ready. It better be. It cost enough. You can't put a price on an entire star system. Soon this whole quadrant will be ours, to do with as we please. <laughs> Yours, yours to do it as you please. Three PO moves his metal you eyebrows. Coming, father. No. Master, did you hear all that? It's me, Kia. I heard Three PO. Are we aboard yet? Soon, Master. Soon. It's like a reversed dropship design. Like it flipped it around. Body. It's all up to you. Also, kind of reminds me of the, the fire spray body style almost. Didn't rotate, you know. We can't lose track of those two containers, are to at any cost. I must say oh this God, there's gonna be a big switcheroo coming up. Look them. at them all; they're everywhere. My friend here says that I couldn't dismantle you with one hand. I say I can. Try to ignore them, Artu. What did he say? Nothing of any importance. What did he say? Well, he said your maker was a trash compactor. Oh, it's not his fault. <laughs> Space travel plays havoc with his rotors. I'll play havoc with his rotors. Oh, no, please. Are you talking shit? Huh? Meteor storm. How do you know it's a meteor storm? You're not anywhere near navigation equipment. You're in the cargo hold. Maybe 3 p.m. just fills it through the force. 3 feels force sensitive. Oh, my. Well, yep, there you go. Scan for life signs. They can't all have life signs in them. All personnel must have identification cards ready. Oh, I do hope we chose the right containers. Keep your lens on that skid, R2. Oof. Careful with those two. Their contents is priceless. What's so important about these two? What? Oh, uh, 
Why? Actually, I, I'm not sure, sir. They're top priority and are to be taken to the satellite hangar immediately. That's a good answer. If you don't mind. Open it. Oh, God. Not good enough, though. It can't be the same container. It's not that kind of show. <laughs> Personally, the only good droid is a deactivated droid. But if it wasn't for you, I'd have gotten my suit pressed. Good. Sounds like this guy has some trauma Top left over from the separatist stuff. attack in the Clone Wars. I believe those two are the only others. Take them right down to the hangar. Tell them Flick says it's okay. Master, are you in there? No, it's me, Kia. Freebio, what's going on? Oh, thank the maker. I've arranged clearance to the hangar, sir. That's great. He's a droid. He's supposed to have like a perfect computer brain, and he, he switched up which person was in which side of the pod twice in a row. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's small. But that's the beauty of it. It has the destructive power of anything a thousand times its size. And no one will see it coming. Since is smaller, costlier. It's the new age, Father. It's all micro mini, teensy weensy little components. It's all micro mini. Maybe teensy weensy little components if anything goes wrong. I'm afraid that this, whatever it is, is irritating my circuits. What's wrong? We've with got you? some it's relatable things going on with the with the bad guys here. He's all I, old and grumpy, like, well, I don't know. And then the young guy's like, no, this is the new thing. It's hey, really good. Yo, Troy, what you got there, shiny pants? This ain't some weird relative of yours, is it? Oh, sir, please. Uh, we have clearance. Say it's if your you dick. Back, he'll he'll we'll put it down right away. You want it? Catch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, please, sir. Don't know what Give 3PO his dick oh. back. This is fucked up. Uh -huh. This is bullying, guys. Please, uh, Mr. Flicks gave us security clearance. Flicks? Go on, get going. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get in trouble. Uh, I never thought I'd be so relieved to be holding a thermal detonator. Uh, I think oh, it's been activated. It's activated. Damn it. All that jostling around. But we only have ten minutes until detonation. The weapon satellite. Trigon 1. What's that? Top priority parts. I gave them clearance. What parts? The satellite is finished. Stop, Stop them. them! They're going to destroy the Trigon. Yeah, now we got the action music. No. Let's go. We've got five minutes. Then we go up with the Trigon. Not if I can help it. Cover me. Whoa! Yeah, she's definitely... Kia is the most action-centric character so far. Skullet's not doing as well. But she's like a dead shot every time. She's busting them out of situations. I guess he's like the tech side of things. Nice one, R2. Nice work, Now we're sealed in here. With the thermal detonator! Kia, get the droids! I was about to strike my blow for freedom. You're right. Freedom is everybody's fight. There it is. We've got our message for the episode. The moral of the story. Let's go. Stop them! Hurry! Quickly, let's shoot lasers at the thing we just spent hella money constructing. <laughs> Is it enough to destroy the Trigon? It's still going through. We're stuck! R2, give me weapons power. Droid fighters. 
Intercept! Intercept! They're useless against the Trigon's weapons. No! The weapon systems are not yet activated! They look pretty activated to me. I love it. Rather than droid fighters, it's droids in fighters. <laughs> Soundtrack score needs to be built higher in the credits. Because this is amazing. It worked! My satellite worked! We can set up again. Yeah, I mean, it's getting stolen from you, but at least this is also a successful proof of concept. Like, it's a good test. It will take years. The other gangs will search for me. They might be successful. But this time, I do it alone. Blakes? No, I... I... Let him go. Right now, he's the least of our worries. No, he has a heart. Good shooting, R2. Now we can use a Trigon against the other gangs. Uh-uh, it's too dangerous for either side to have, Kia. We have to finish what we started. We've got to destroy it. You're right, Thal. Size is gang's finished. That's what we wanted. But you, uh, yeah, I guess you have to destroy it. That's a common theme in Star Wars. We have to destroy our super capable weapons. We can't use them for good. Well, if that's the case, 3PO, maybe R2 would give you a few tips on freedom fighting. <laughs> Me, go back and fight. Oh, oh. That is, if your back can take it. I. I, I think it might be better to leave the freedom fighting to Artu. Probably for the best. Nice. That one was cool. I liked that a lot. Um, it had a nice moral to it. Freedom is a fight that everyone is involved in. And in order to secure freedom, everyone has to do their part. Um, that's a message that can be found throughout Star Wars storytelling. It really does permeate the fabric of the narratives. And of course it does. It's about a rebellion, about freedom fighting against, you know, a fascist tyranny. So I think it feels, you know, right on target. The Trigon is a cool ship. It's a really unique design. Um, they're probably going to destroy it, but it would be cool if we could, like, you know, spend some time getting to see what other crazy capabilities these orc, this orc gang designed, because that would be awesome. Still some weird sexualizing going on with 3PO straddling the engine. Not sure if that's going on with the animators. If it's going on in my mind, maybe I have a weird problem. Um, but I can't wait to dive into the next one. So stay tuned. And post these reactions once a week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. Leave me a comment if you have a question or something to say. Or if you have a fan film to recommend to me, I'm trying to watch all of those. You can also find me streaming on Twitch four days a week and playing a lot of Star Wars games like Empire at War, The Old Republic, Battlefront, Squadrons. There's also a Discord server. You can find a link to that in the description of the video. And if you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash channel. You'll get access to full-length reactions, content polls help me decide what to react to next. There's a couple exclusives on there too, like a tour of the studio behind me and a breakdown of what my collection is, and a couple of Discord perks as well. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.